can't be my man's either. They say Chuck a go getter, yeah, I'm a overachiever. In college, I played football, I was a wide receiver. Ain't got shit to do with this, but I just thought that I should miss it. Hey, don't, don't be playing me 50, don't be moving iffy. I, I peep all the snakes. Oh dang, you ain't here, you ain't hear about it, you ain't hear about it, are you telling me this whole time? Come on now, come on, come on, you ain't hear about it, it's all over YouTube, it's over the news, it's over the internet on Google, search your Google, search your Safari right now, the Travis Kelsey haircut, the Travis Kelsey haircut, if you don't know what the Travis Kelsey haircut is, it's basically a haircut, that, but I'm telling you, the cut is going crazy on the internet, it's going insane, on the internet, it's going insane, like look for yourself, let me show y'all the backstory. Behind it. Watch this, bro. Watch this. Ocho. I've been getting a, I've been getting a fade Travis, since 86. He don't have a fade. He got a buzz cut like when you go to the army. Bro, New York Times, so that's how you start black history. Giving Trav, and that's my nephew, you're going to give him credit for the fade. Is that really connected to black history, the fade haircut? Should, is, is, should that be taught in some school? Are we that shallow and stupid? But this is the kind of idolatry and division and, and false emotions and cosplay that Black History Myth Month promotes. Just to clarify, Travis has never said this out of his mouth. This is purely the New York Times and a barber. In quote, they usually come in with a picture of him. He also states that a TikToker named Bryce Hall who was popular on TikTok made kids run to the barber shop to get long curly fringe hair in the front. All right, so you caught up? Bet. All right, so everybody's tripping about this Travis Kelsey haircut, but let's not bash him. He's not the one that said, yo, I created this cut. I'm the one who made the cut. I started the cut. I started the fade. No, he did not start the fade. A New York City journalist wrote an article and said this is his cut that he created. So let's not bash him. Let's bash the journalist that made this. This is crazy. It's a whole lot of cuts. That's fire. It's a whole lot of cuts. Did we forget about the Boosie fade? Did we forget about the Boosie fade? Come on, man. Come on, dog. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. It's a whole lot of fire cut that's not getting credit. And y'all just wanna give Travis Kills like credit. Like he started the cut. He ain't started the cut. Uh, personally, it's not a big deal for me. But at the end of the day, let's give credit to where it's due. I feel like the reporter once she decided to make this article or make this statement, she should have reached out to the barber. Or she should have reached out to him or his team and said, yo, who is the barber that made the feed? And then you could have made the report, but you chose to make the report. Court. Just, I don't know where you got this information from. I'm talking about this the Travis Kelsey haircut. Travis Kelsey did not start the fade. Like I said, this this is not a shot to Travis. He's doing his thing for the cheat. Doing his thing in the NFL. Keep doing you, bro. But I'm just saying, they tried to give you a cut that's been out way long, bro. Mad long. The cut been out mad long. The Travis, you got me saying it. You got me saying it. Yo, the cut been out for a long time, bro. My great, 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 great. Great grandfather had a fade before Travis Kelsey even had a fade. But in all seriousness, though, like I said, like he, he just got a fade. It's cool, but nobody's giving the barber the credit. Why are we making articles about the barber who made the fade? Maybe the barber could have educated the reporter, like I said before. Maybe the barber could have educated the person that made the article and said, "Hey, he got a fade. Fades have been out for this long. These are some of the people who had fades or has fades right now. This that conversation could have been had." I just feel like credit isn't being bought on to the right people. Like I said, shout out to the barber that cut his hair. That was a huge jump for him. Let's let's clap it up for him because that, that's definitely a good move. Like just that cut alone that he did made his business expand. This is my opinion. Like I said, I'm not upset that they're calling the Travis Kelsey haircut the Travis Kelsey haircut. I was more so kind of disappointed that they didn't get the barber credit, you know. And I understand he has a name. He's the person he is. He's a star. He's famous. He's in the spotlight. But at the same time can the barber get some credit can we get some recognition and this isn't the only time that something like this has happened it's a lot of celebrities that are basically getting credit for people's work and they're not crediting the people that's doing the work can we get some credit to the people behind the scenes for one one time one time let's give people their credit my only issue that i have with this whole thing is that a lot of celebrities are getting credit for the end result of the person doing the work cosmetologists estheticians 
barbers, hair designers, clothing designers, any person doing a service for somebody else, we are not getting the credit. We're not getting the credit. We don't even get a shout out. We don't get no type of recognition. The barber is not at fault. He did his job. He did his job. This is Travis Kelsey's personal barber. He's been cutting up for five years, I believe. He's been doing his job for years. And as Travis's fame and stardom and reputation, once he got more known and things like that, then I guess for some reason they said, oh, this is his haircut. This is his haircut. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's, it's nothing wrong with giving somebody they credit. Can we give the barber the credit? Matter of fact, anybody that ever did something for somebody that blew up, can we give them their credit? That's it. We just want the credit. We spend time and time and time and money and we we lose a lot of things. We sacrifice a lot of things to get to where we want to be in life. And you want to get a credit to somebody else. We put years in this game. We put time. We study. We wear our ass off and y'all just want to take the credit and not give us credit. Come on, stop playing, bro. Stop playing. Like, come on, come on. That's how y'all feel? Stop. Y'all, like the reporter, the next time somebody wants to report something can we go to the source okay can we go to the person that made it happen all right and not just make an article out of nothing without knowing the backstory like you don't even know how long fades have been out for you don't even know that people have been cutting for years before you even had your job before this man even played football before a lot of people got in the position that they in you have no idea how long these barbers have been working their ass off these comments high whatever deal you have you have no idea how long they've been working to build their craft to get to the point that they at like i said the barber probably he's probably happy he's probably getting love now but initially y'all was not showing him love y'all just said oh this the, this the travis this the travis kelsey here this this the travis kelsey haircut just the cut he made a cut no he did not he got the cut that's been out for years i mean it's your boy shy fees if you like this video and i want to hear y'all thoughts what's y'all thoughts on the situation what's y'all thoughts on not just this situation on any other celebrity that gets something what's your thoughts on people getting credit for another person's work and not giving them credit now there are celebrities that do blow up or they do get a certain style certain haircut or they wear certain clothes and they shout out the person that did it. shout out to y'all but then like i said it's also those people that don't do it for the people that don't do it let's call them out this is just my opinion man so that's my opinion it's your boy shy fades let me know in the comments what y'all think about this situation like i said this is just my opinion i'm not really mad at nobody i just feel like accountability should be taken on the reporter accountability should be taken on the reporter they should have did their research and should have asked more questions before they made the article man it's your boy shy fades i'm gonna see y'all in the next video and we out Bye.